Hello everybody, today is January 30th, 2012. Illinois' nuclear reactor loses power and is evidently venting radioactive steam. A nuclear reactor at Northern Illinois' plant shut down Monday after losing power and steam was being vented to reduce pressure. Not a good sign, according to officials from the Exelon Nuclear and Federal Regulatory. Yep, let's build some more and let's put them right on fault lines, okay? Unit 2 at Barron Generating Station shut down about 10.18 a.m. after losing power from an off-site source. Exelon officials said diesel generators began supplying power to the plant. Equipment and operators began releasing steam from the non-nuclear side of the plant to help cool the reactor, officials said. Even though the turbine is not turning to produce electricity, you still need to cool the equipment, said the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission spokeswoman, Victoria Meatline. Releasing steam helps take away some of that energy still being produced by the reactor core, I must add, by nuclear reaction, but that doesn't have to go anywhere to go now. The steam contains low levels of radiation tritum, but the levels are safe for workers and the public, federal, and plant officials said right. As a side note, tritonum is also hydrogen. Remember what happened in Japan, Fukushima? They had hydrogen explosions. Naturally occurring tritium is extremely rare on Earth and has a half-life of 12.32 years, supposedly. But we don't have to worry because there's no such thing as safe levels of radiation, right? Unit 1 was operating normally while engineers investigate why number 2 lost power, which comes into the plant from the outside power grid. My Ting said smoke was seen from an on-site station transformer. She said, but no evidence of fire was found when the plant's fire brigade responded. Exelon spokesman Paul Dempsey said, there is no reason we can pinpoint right now for the power loss. Mittening said Nuclear Regulatory Commission inspectors were in the control room at Byron and in constant contact with the Agency Incident Response Center in Lissell, Illinois. Now, if that don't sound suspicious. Byron Generating Station is in Ugo County, about 95 miles northwest of Chicago. In March of 2008, federal officials said they were investigating a problem with electrical transformers at the plant after outside power to the unit was interrupted. In an unrelated issue last April, the commission said it was conducting special inspections of backup water pumps at the Byron and Braidwood generating stations after the agency inspectors raised concerns about whether the pumps would be able to cool the reactors if the normal systems wasn't working, there's another red flag, raised concerns about whether the pumps would be able to cool the reactor if normal systems wasn't working. The plant operator, XL Corp, initially said the pump would work, but later concluded they wouldn't. And then according to NOAA, winds are about 13 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. And this is for the Chicago O'Hara International Airport there. Here's a current image of your weather and the wind for Illinois. The only reason I'm showing this is because of the direction that the radiation is going to be going. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everybody up to date. Stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Have at least two escape routes and I'll talk to you later.